All right, joining us uh, this time, we're going to look at um, the International Youth Day and other issues is Ahmed Buhari, a politician. Uh, many thanks for joining us on Plus uh, News Now tonight. Hi, good evening. Yeah, good evening to you, Ahmed. Uh, let's talk about uh, this uh, issue of uh, political uh, participation, uh, specifically from the angle of the youth, that, which is uh, what most people are talking about at uh, this uh, period. You have um, been part of the discourse and, uh, of course, the decision-making process, but say, in Nigeria, when you uh, tried contesting, uh, you know, for the last election, the presidential election at uh, the last time. In your opinion, would you say the average Nigerian youth is actually eager to be part of that circle that wants to uh, take uh, uh, the hems of affairs uh, in Nigeria? Yes, most definitely. Um, one thing I've always said to everybody is that the young people in this country are ready. Um, I, think, I think that question sometimes when it comes uh, across to young people, it's like, a, it's, like, it's like a degrading question to ask if young people are ready. When you look at young people across board in other, in other areas of the system, you see young people doing extremely very well. When you take young people from Nigeria to other countries around the world, you see them excelling better than the rest of the, their peers around the world, which means that there's really... Ahmed, can you, can you still hear us? Uh, go ahead. Yes, I can, I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Which means, which means very clearly uh, young people are prepared, young people are ready, young people know exactly what they're doing. But unfortunately, I think when it comes to the political space, uh, we haven't seen young people really, you know, participate as much as we want them to participate. Um, and I think that has to do with their self-confidence, self-determination to believe that they have something to offer. My plea to every young person is, as it is right now, especially with the political landscape, it is important that you get yourself involved, get yourselves involved in huge numbers, regardless of the political party. I believe that uh, those political parties are only but... Um, platforms that we can contest with but if we have the if we have good people within those political parties that can actually translate to good policies that could protect the interests of young people right. the interests of women and hopefully uh, good governance okay yeah let's uh, let me just take it off from one of the things you said about nigerians not really maybe not really having the confidence uh, in as it when uh, would you say it's actually related to the fact that the average nigerian does not really believe in the entity uh, of nigeria itself that's part of the problems. Unfortunately, you're very correct, uh, and 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 this is um, this is one of the areas that we would have to rework our mentality through. Because when you see a lot of young people in the country, the, you, some people wake up in the morning to tell you very clearly that this is the worst place in the world, and they haven't been to anywhere else. Uh, it is unfair. It is unfortunate. For you to actually call your home the only place that you can call your home the only place that recognizes you as a citizen as a first class citizen to now categorize it as the worst place on earth it doesn't help anybody it doesn't help you and in all in all honesty the rest of the world looks down on you when you when you when you categorize your own home as the worst place on earth so we must be positive i believe only positivity can beget positivity uh, very clearly, if you push out negative, you receive negative. So we must change this mindset. We must believe in the project called Nigeria. We must believe in the success of the country. And in turn, we will see all of that play out. All right, Ahmed. Now, it is sad to note that uh, Nigeria actually dropped uh, by the uh, index released by uh, the Commonwealth uh, Global Youth Development Index. Nigeria ranked 161st out of 181 countries, meaning that uh, Nigeria's youth development is very poor. How do you react to this? Yes, I, I did read the report. Um, the report um, came out positioning Nigeria as 161st out of 181 countries in the world, which means that um, things are terrible in Nigeria, which means that things are at their worst in Nigeria, which means that I could actually be sitting down here and be planning to dodge a bullet. Look, there are problems around the world. There are problems in Nigeria. Nigeria definitely doesn't have everything working out the way it should be working out for it. But when people talk to you, they tell you things like, um, even though they're going to be, even if, even though, even though we have police killings in places like United States, even though the United States report in 19, in 2018 presented itself to show that over 18,500 uh, murder cases were recorded, you know, it, it's it's actually more than what we've recorded uh, the killings we've recorded with Boko Haram. But the point still remains that uh, there's no perfect place in the world. There are challenges all over the place. 
And the worst part of all of this is that I haven't seen reports being generated by independent Nigerian organizations to say this is the report that shows the youth index or the index index on different issues, whether it be the economy, education, or, or um, welfare for the people. In other words, what I'm trying to hit at is that we must be wary of where this um, data is coming out from. We must be careful to accept some of this data. We must be, remi we must be mindful of the fact that um, no country who would put this data together would actually want to put itself lower than us or lower than it, right. it wants to put itself, which means that we, we, we must look at all of this all the time and say to ourselves, how did we come up with this data? How is Nigeria 161 out of 181? We've been, we, there's so many countries in the world with wars right now. As we speak, there are bomb blasts going on. As we speak, there are people, you know, dying of poverty and things like that. But, you know, and, and I look at the situation and I'm saying to myself, I know Nigeria is not perfect, but okay. when we go out every day to condemn our country, people take that as the indices to determine how bad our situation is and we must stop it. All right, thank you so much, I'm Ahmed Buhari, for your time. Indeed, uh, there is uh, so much, uh, you know, good or goodies that could also come out from Nigeria. We do appreciate your time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.